What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Divine. And today, yeah, we're doing that little updated Q&A. Because when I did my first Q&A, um, oh, y'all may have like a mess. But when I did my first Q&A, a lot of, I didn't really have, like, I barely had, I think it was, what, like, 30 I think I had like 30 subscribers and now I have almost 300. So I'm going to do a little updated Q and A, or whatever for the new people that don't know me or whatever. And yeah. So y'all basically I got my, okay. So I asked on my Instagram, hold on. I asked on my Instagram for, I asked a couple of different, couple of different days. I think it was like three different days where I had asked for questions for my YouTube. And yeah, so if y'all don't follow me on YouTube, I mean, if y'all, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because y'all probably missed out on a chance to ask what y'all wanted to ask. Y'all probably thinking about something and was like, oh, I don't want to comment, da da da, and y'all missed on y'all opportunity to ask me because y'all don't follow my Instagram. So, anyways, I, it's like twenty questions and I got them all on a little spinner, so I'm just gonna spin spin my little spinner and then answer the question and yeah we're gonna get through these little 20 questions let's spin for the first question okay y'all so we got this as the first question okay so typically my mornings start at about like sometimes i might wake up if i'm having a good day i might wake up at like 7 30 7 50 but most of the time i wake up at around 8 30 and I get dressed or whatever, and then I go to breakfast for about like 15 minutes, and then I walk to my first class. And all my classes, first semester, all my classes were 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, all my first classes were 9 a.m. So I would go to my 9 a.m., and then I'll probably go to my 10 a.m., and then depending on the day, depending on how long I will have a break between my 10 a.m. and then my next class. So, I think most of the time, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I will have a break from 10 to 1. And my next class will be at 1. On um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will have a 9 a.m. and then I'll have an 11 a.m. So, I wouldn't have a 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so, yeah, that's my morning. Next question. <sighs> okay, y'all. Next question says, football or basketball players? <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have a preference between football or basketball players. I really wish I did because I feel like you can't really compare football players and basketball players. Like football players are really just like not really aggressive, but they're more so like dominated. Like, like they'll be the ones to tell you like this is how it is. Do whatever. Like straightforward, blunt, like that. They're real. Yeah harsh and then basketball players those are the lovers like basketball players are real like genuine and caring um yeah i like both i like football players and basketball players i just like really i just like any athlete to be honest but y'all i decided to put on this little headband because my size was going crazy but next question it says if you could fly somewhere just to eat dinner where would it be um probably Probably somewhere like tropical, like an island somewhere, maybe Bora Bora or yeah, probably somewhere just like tropical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is your number one bond on camp? Somebody you go to about everything. That will be my cousin, for sure, hands down. Don't even have to think about that next. Yeah. Um, I have met a couple people, which I think that's the question right here. But my number one person will always be my cousin. Like, I go to him anytime anything happens. The second it happens, I call him. Hey, can you come to my room? Like, I need to talk to you or text him. Like, it don't matter what he doing. He going to be like, yeah, give me a minute, but I'm going to be there. Whatever. Um, advice you wish you would have known before going to college. Um, probably, okay, two things. Okay, maybe like three things. 
one um if you know you're not a morning person don't take them morning class like the 8 a.m and 9 a.m don't take them because it's more than likely you're gonna end up like the other yeah, first couple of weeks you're probably gonna go to them just because you know you're a college freshman but when class and months go by what's going by you're gonna end up skipping that class and not going to that class and that's just not good you yeah so i would advise you if you're not a morning person to take them afternoon classes i know people who they start at 11 or 12 they'll be done by like two three and yeah you still got your day um me personally i'm not a morning person but i get up for my classes for the most part the only time i don't go to class if i'm sick or like i have a legit excuse or i have a doctor's appointment um number two don't go to college you are freshman year looking for love yeah um you're not gonna find it that that's it you're not gonna find it um if you looking at these boys and, or looking at these girls whatever you like and you're like oh i really like them are you talking to somebody you like oh this could be the one they're not sorry they're not <laughs> um most of these college freshmen they just want one thing one thing only they just want to do nasty and they want to leave that's it nobody really wants relationships for real you're not gonna get that to I feel like you're not going to find your true one if you do have a college love story until, like, junior year. Now, there is some people who come into college and they find a one and they stick it out through the four years. But that's just a one in a million type of thing. Um, And number three, um, I would say don't think everybody is your friend. Like, you might meet somebody and you're like, oh, I love their vibe. Let me go ahead and load the next question. But you're like, oh, I love their vibe. Like, this my friend for real. No. It's a lot of weird people um, at college. Like, and you're going to realize that not everybody is your friend. Not everybody wants to see you succeed. So, at the end of the day, make sure that you got yourself and yourself only. Ooh. Okay. Next question says, top three favorite memories from fall semester. Let me go ahead and load the next question while I'm answering that. Okay, my top three favorite memories. Um, I would have to say, okay, so number one would be, um, Getting close to my cousin, um, getting close to my roommate, oh my god, love her, and I had a whole roommate situation, let me know if y'all want that story time, but I had a whole roommate situation, but my second roommate now, love her, love her, love her, love her, love her, like, yeah, that's my girl, even though she be calling me delusional, but, um, yeah, so next question says, do you miss high school? Um, I would say I do, but I don't, I miss the... I miss the um, high school energy, like I want like the classroom energy, like just being able to, you know, like you could be failing in, in high school and then finals come and let's say you pass it, like you get all your failing grades turned into that grade, so you're now passing class. Like it's just so many different. I want to say high school is easy. High school compared to college, high school is so easy. And it's not even just, like, easy because of the course load. It's really easy because there's so many different ways that you can bring your grade up in high school. Like, your teacher, even though they say, I don't give extra credit in the beginning of the year, in some form of way, in the middle year and, and, and towards the end of the year, they're going to give you some type of extra credit, whether it's an assignment, a project, whatever the case may be. Um, and then also the homework. I missed the homework. I took that homework for granted. But in college, you have to do everything yourself. Like, there's no homework, nothing. They post everything online at the beginning of the year, and you just have to stick it out. Okay, next question says, what orgs do you plan to join? I need to, like, make this quick. But I got, like, a couple questions up. Um, it said, what orgs do you plan to join? So... Um, I'm already a SSU cheerleader or whatever, but I haven't really cheered. But we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. If I want a story time about that too, let me know. But um, technically, I'm an SSU cheerleader. Um, and I want to join one of the. Okay, I want to join. I don't know which one yet, but either I want to join a modeling org, but it's not gonna be too model. Because there's different things that you can do. I know, like, in Savage, they have different things. Like, they have stylists. They have makeup artists. They have hairstylists, whatever. 
I just, I think LA might have what I'm looking for, but, um, I surround myself in the content creator, um, positions a lot. So with any art that I do, I'm always looking to see if they have a content creator or a social media chair or something like that. Um, I do next, um, spring semester though, I do plan to join some, or like some clubs or whatever. Um, I didn't, well, I wasn't able to go to the last org fair where they had all the clubs set up and stuff like that. Wasn't able to go to that, but because I had class, I had a lab, but hopefully this semester I can go because I really do want to get more involved. Um, yeah, it says, what is your favorite hairstyle on yourself? Mm, braids for sure. Top down. These are not just twists. They're my starter locks. Um, I've had them. I've had them in for about a month now. Um, and yeah, I won't say this is my favorite hairstyle on me though, but I'll say braids. Um, it says, are you single? I don't know why somebody asked me that. Okay, anywhere. Um, it says, are you single? I am definitely single. Um, yeah, I think another question on here is like, are you looking or something like that? We'll get to that when we get to that. So. Who is your favorite bond? What are, yeah. Who is your favorite bonds? So multiple people you made on camp. Um, I have a couple. I would say, you know, Kevo. I'll say it's Aquina. Um, Lana, K Money, Tay Tay. The bonds I make with my cheer sisters and brothers. Um, my roomie. Um, you know, Bryce, Chris, um, it's, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a, I have a handful on um, my CAs. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit. Um, but I'll say my favorite, favorite bonds is probably K Money, Tay Tay, Lana. Um, yeah. say too much but if you know you know um fun fact about you fun fact about me y'all i'm colorblind <sighs> like for real well i don't know i know i am but like i haven't like i mean i did a little bit at the eye doctor but like i didn't have like it's not fully diagnosed you know what i'm saying it says what is your top three holiday movies it's okay so, this is not in any particular order because I'm not going to remember on it. But I'm going to say Medea's Christmas, the movie, not the play. Now, I love the play, but I love <laughs> the movie. Oh, my God. Okay. Medea's Christmas, this Christmas, and Almost Christmas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Almost Christmas, oh, my God. I'm going to watch that. Almost Christmas had me die. Oh, my God. Like, whew. Okay. How is Savannah State slash college life? Okay. So I'm gonna answer it two part, I guess. So Savannah State, um, really okay. So college it is what you make it, and I tell a lot of people that when they ask me how's college, it is what you make it. Like, if you don't have a lot of friends and you're in your room all the time, you're gonna say it's boring. You're gonna say it's lame. You're gonna say it's nothing to do. You know what I'm saying? If you get out there and you go to every event, you go to every party, you're gonna say it's you know it's lit, it's fun, whatever. So it is what you make it. Um. For me, I would say it's fine. Like, it's very easy to get unmotivated. It's very easy to get off track or procrastinate a lot um, because everything is in your hands. But for the most part, it's fun. Like, um, I try to go as many on-camp events as I can, and I'm very involved, too, because I'm a cheerleader. So I go to a lot of stuff. Um, home, It was just, I would say, first semester was hard for me at Savannah State, just because I was injured from August up until November, I was, I was, I had an injury. So I was in a boot, I was in two different boots, and then I was in an air cast. And so that's the, really the main reason why I haven't been like active as a cheerleader. But yeah, and the injury also set me back in a lot of different ways. Um, yeah, I'm not getting into that, but yeah. Oh, it says, are you returning to SSU? So, I guess a lot of people are transferring. I thought they was playing about that, but they're for real. A lot of people are transferring. 
or or just dropping out um after fall semester like they're not coming back spring semester but i'm coming back to ssu i love my <laughs> no for real though but i love my orange and blue like, i believe orange and blue now like yeah i'm coming back and i'm going to be there all four years um yeah i'm going to take summer classes or whatever so i can complete my degree in four years what is something you would say to an ex a ex boyfriend and an ex friend um something i would say to an ex boyfriend nothing i mean i'm a cool ex for the most part if we fall out if we don't fall out on bad terms or if we like get back cool or just like something like that like i'm not gonna hold a grudge necessarily but um i don't really like to revel in old relationships like i have a tendency to do that especially with my last it's like i have a tendency to just like revel in a relationship and yeah so i have nothing to say to an ex-boyfriend to be honest um but uh ex-friend i would say you know i don't really have i only have like two ex-friends that's it um everybody that i choose to be in my circle they're still in my circle because i very picky but i would say i don't like you um i'm not gonna say i wish the best for you because i'm sorry uh you did some grimy stuff and i hope that you never have to put somebody else through that um yeah that's all i'm gonna say um i don't i don't hold grudges like i do but i don't um we're gonna move past that how do you manage a sport youtube and college classes so it's all about okay it's all about time management to be honest like even though i wasn't necessarily like active active as a cheerleader fall semester um i definitely was still participating like i was still at every single event i was still going to every single practice so it definitely still took like i was going to every game away and home so it definitely still took up my time so i would say it's best to manage your time wisely i would say like for cheer we would have practice you know maybe from like 7 to 8 30 7 to 9 or, or something like that it would be at 7 or 7 30 something like that um so i would say like make sure you get your homework and your work done earlier in the day like if like for me i'll be doing my classes on um, by one and then i'll be doing my classes by like two on tuesdays and thursdays or no i'll be doing by two on monday wednesday and fridays and then by one on tuesdays and thursdays so after my classes i do take i eat my lunch i do make take may take a little nap but then when i wake up from my nap you know make sure my like work that's due that day is done i really just take it day by day to be honest make sure your work that you that's due for that day is done and some people like to get audit with what i found during homecoming was really good was to get all my work done all of it for the week done on monday like, Monday was my grind day. Like, I was not playing no games. That was my day to get all my stuff done. So, that way, during the week, you could participate in your sport. You could do that content for YouTube and TikTok. You know, you could still go to your classes and not be stressed or whatever. So, yeah. It's all about time management. Um, I have a big erase board, a dry erase board calendar. And I also have two small calendars and a planner and a social media planner. So, I'm a very, like, hands-on visual person. So, I have to see... Um, so that's that would help me too i'm a planner um yeah what is your view on relationships as a college freshman i feel as though as a college freshman um coming if you're coming into college like i came into college yeah if you come into college in a relationship don't i'm sorry i'm sorry i ain't want to hear it either i ain't want to hear it either don't come into college in a relationship i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you it's gonna go downhill and you're gonna go through it when you're supposed to be having fun that first month it's gonna go you're gonna go through it i promise you um i feel as though as a college freshman you don't need to be worried about a relationship um i had to learn that the hard way i wasn't necessarily worried about relationship but i got into one and a lot of things happened with that um 
I think you should just focus on being a college freshman, focus on your classes, focus on having fun, going to them parties, going to them events. Um, I say if you start talking to somebody, talk to them for a while. Talk to them for a couple months to see how they're going to be in a relationship, how they're going to act, you know, how they're going to treat you, stuff like that. If you see, okay, they're not as controlling and stuff like that, I say go for it. But don't come into college and try to pursue a relationship, like try to pursue somebody and think I'm finna have my college love story. So first week I'm looking for my husband. First week I'm looking for my man. Like, no, it don't work like that. No, <laughs> no. The person you're going to be with fall semester, I guarantee y'all not going to make it to spring semester. If you do date, like, sorry, not sorry. I didn't want to hear it either um yeah if you do start talking about it keep it at talking um or keep it at flirty friends whatever y'all want to do but yeah that's my take on um views on relationships now now my views was different coming into college um my views was very different but stuff happened okay best way to get over a breakup i don't know why y'all keep asking me about breakup stuff or i i don't know why because I'm, I'm going through, I'll be going through it myself um I would say best way to get over a breakup though um distance yourself from that person like for me it was very hard I would say it was very hard because I had to see him every day on top of he I had to see him every day I saw him every day and whether that was him i'm trying not to like put put it out there but just know like i had to see him every day and not not i'm not talking about no like oh just walking past each other like no i did see him too but like that but i'm talking about like really like came in my room you know talking yeah um so yeah distance yourself from that person as much as you can um, I had to learn the hard, I had to learn myself that that was the best way for me. That was effective for me. And I will also say too, um, give your, give yourself that time to feel the breakup. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself that time to revel in your feelings. Cause a lot of people going to be like, oh, move on to the next or, you know, it's, don't cry about no dude. No, give your cry. Cry as much as you need because you don't need to help hold all that hurt in. As much hurt as you feeling, if you hold that in, you're going to end up, and you get in another relationship, you're going to end up taking all that hurt out and putting it on them. And you don't need to do that. So, I say, yeah. Um, But also, you know, if you see that person moving on, don't think, okay, I need to move on to make him jealous. Move on at your pace. And... Try not to over obsess about what they're doing, about what they got going on. That's gonna help you too. It's gonna be hard. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I know y'all watching probably like, well, what she's saying that like, that's easier said than done. I know, trust. I know, but I'm saying like you gotta put in that work. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be real rewarding towards the end. Watch. Okay, last question, y'all. Last question. We just went through 20 questions that fast, y'all. What? Okay, it says, do you like anybody? Um. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say I like anyone. There is somebody that I might be interested in. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not putting that out there for the world. <laughs> y'all thought I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I like somebody no i'm not telling y'all i'm sorry um love y'all not telling y'all if i like somebody or not because i'm not putting my business out there yet <laughs> i am not i'm not i'm sorry i just can't i can't i can't bring a relationship to youtube yet um or a crush to youtube yet um y'all might y'all might see him in a video might not see him in a video I'm not going to tell y'all who it is, though. I'm just going to say the name, moving past it. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, this is so-and-so, and this is my crush, or this is so-and-so, this is who I like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all better figure it out yourself. Because <laughs> I ain't telling y'all nothing. But anyways, that's all I have, y'all. 
for to this video oh also y'all i know i'm slacking on the videos but listen make sure y'all go to my tiktok because i'm also doing vlogmas on my tiktok too so if y'all like see i'm not posting on youtube i might have posted a vlogmas on my tiktok so make sure y'all go follow that at at underscore only my show all my socials will be um in the description below as they always are um yeah y'all really i'm not even gonna try to force myself anymore to try to produce videos every day i'm just gonna just make sure i'm staying consistent and that's just what's gonna work best for me so if i miss a day or two that's okay because i'm gonna come back the next day and i'm gonna post the video because i told you already i was doing things a little bit different to everybody i might not produce a video every day because that's just not in my nature i'm sorry but anyways make sure y'all like comment and subscribe share this video share this channel bye y'all